All right, everybody. It is Monday, June 1st, 2020. This is athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz coming to you. And I want to thank everybody who came out to peaceably and forcefully demonstrate yesterday downtown. The demonstration was in the main uh, very peaceful, uh, full of articulate voices, and people understandably agitated for one of the main issues of our time, fair policing, particularly fair to the black men and women of Athens. Demonstrations are a little bit like rhetorical Whitman samplers. I can't say I agreed with every word from everybody's mouth in the same way that I'm sure you wouldn't agree with every word that comes out of my mouth. But at its core, everybody there certainly wanted to see a more just, a more fair society and a society in which the color of one's skin isn't going to dictate the policing response that's provided either to an individual or to a community at large. I think I indicated to you last week that Chief Cleveland Spruill is going to join me next week on June 10th in community conversation. And he would love to get questions from you about the present and the future of policing in athens Clark County. He has a wealth of experience in Northern Virginia and Washington, D.C that I think he's bringing to bear in a positive way here in Athens as we begin a community police advisory board and other measures on the street to make sure that this is a great place to live insofar as the work of the police department goes. Now, while yesterday was mainly very positive and I felt affirmed as an Athenian, um, unfortunately, there were some elements that were dangerous and challenging. Some of these fringe elements were visible to people, and people sent me photographs of folks that they were scared of, and understandably so because they were brandishing weapons. Unfortunately, beyond those individuals that were visible, there was an element that was not visible, that was behind the scenes. And our department had very strong intelligence that after the demonstration, we needed to clear downtown for the safety of the individuals who live there and frequent there and for people's workplaces, particularly now when people's workplaces are so important in the midst of this pandemic. So uh, around nine o'clock, the decision was finalized through the management office and the police department to have a curfew. And then that curfew was announced later that hour. And then over two hours was provided um, before any direct police action. The police action by the athens Clark County Police Department involved use of tear gas, and I've gotten a lot of questions about that specific tactic. And while I have some understanding from my academic work about the nature of the police and criminal justice system broadly, I'm not an expert in tactical deployment of resources by police departments. But what I understand having asked this question in multiple ways to the police chief, is that particularly knowing that there were individuals who were armed and particularly knowing that direct engagement could certainly have meant damage of limb, or bruising, or broken arms, or worse, uh, the chief made the decision to use tear, tear gas as a non-lethal ability to disperse the last few folks who were there downtown. So I want to make that clear, and certainly the police chief can talk a little bit more about that when we sit down next week. Uh, I welcome all your questions, many of which I've gotten today. And so uh, I ask that you send any questions to the portal at accgov.com mayor for that community conversation. So downtown, some arrests were made following this disbursement. And then off-site, additional arrests were made. Part of the method of some of these infiltrators is that they use a focus area to then allow for secondary criminal activity. So there was some burglary that was caught in process, and we were glad to be able to do that, particularly so that we could keep those businesses and you safe. I certainly understand that part of the challenge 
when you're in the midst of a demonstration about problems endemic in an institution is listening to institutional actors. Part of our responsibility is to collective needs. And so that sometimes means we put aside our individual desires for the moment, not forgetting about them, not marginalizing them, but understanding we have a responsibility to each other. And this meant yesterday that Athens didn't end up in the same situation that we have seen in Atlanta and in Nashville and the Twin Cities and other places where there was damage to people's property, to people's places of work, and to people's neighborhoods. Because we all love our downtown, and so I'm glad it lives intact. I'm looking forward to all the real work, the dedication that we're going to give to making sure that we have a better police department and a better criminal justice system broadly than we do right now. We need your assistance and your engagement to make that happen. So I look forward to our work together in the days and the weeks ahead.